What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today I'm here in Ableton. I'm going to show you how to start a beat with a loop, where to put your loops and 808s and whatnot. So let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to grab a loop from the Producer Grind collection. Let's go into World on Loops. And I'm going to grab one of these files. So. I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to drag it onto an audio track. Now I'm going to double click the clip and we'll see that it already figured out the tempo is 150.88. The decimal points come from the DAW most likely being created, the DAW, the sample, the loop most likely being created in a different DAW. So now translating into Ableton, this is the exact tempo it's gotten and we can change it however we would like to. Now, as long as this warp button is on, we can change it. Um, let's hit play here. Turn on the metronome. And the segregated BPM is what we're going to be looking at. So this is what the tempo of the loop will be. So if this is, you know, incorrect or wrong, then you can change that however you would prefer. Now this is the master tempo, so as we change this, the entire loop tempo will change. And let me rephrase that. You can't change the tempo of this loop specifically, but you can change it within the, the master. Now if you did want to change it, you can multiply it by 2 and divide by 2. Now let's say I wanted to add an 808. In order for the way I add my 808s, let's go ahead and grab an 808. Collapse that. Drum kits, let's go into drum sauce 2 for the moment being. Let's grab this 808. I'm going to click on this MIDI track here just so it goes there and nowhere else. Double click it. And I like to do my 808s in one shot mode. But the point of me showing you this is when I hit C, I want to be playing a C. So I'm going to come up to audio effects, double click on this tuner, and we see it's at C. So we don't need to change anything. In the case that we did need to change something, if you like classic mode for your 808s, going to come up to controls and the transpose changing function is here. Now, if I go up 12 semitones, it'll go up an octave. If I go down 12 semitones, it'll go down an octave. And everything in between. Now, that's too low for the tuner to catch, but you should catch my drift, if you know what I'm saying. So, zero semitones. We're going to leave that how it is because it's at C. As I said, I like using one-shot mode for my 808s because I don't like it to be monophonic. I want it to, you know, cancel each other out. I don't want... I want it to be monophonic. I don't want any overlapping 808s because let me show you what I mean. That's not what we want. And we want it to last the entire time for one. So I do. So you know what I'm saying there. Now it's playing C when I press C. Now we can... Play, put an 808 pattern with the loop we have. So I'm also going to put a tuner on this loop and let's try to figure out what key the loop is in. If the tuner doesn't tell us, then we'll just go the old school route and figure it out by placing our 808 in the MIDI and seeing where it sounds best. Turn the metronome off. Looks like it's an F. So this is most likely in F minor. So we're just going to double click on this clip. Going to hold down Option, Alt, and drag or scroll. And let's place uh, 808 on the F. Let's go up higher. That's too low. Higher. Higher. Highlight Kanye. Was that Kanye? Let me shut up. Let's place it here high for a second so that we get 
we can hear it and hit play that sounds right so i'm gonna make this longer i'm gonna wrap up this 808 pattern and then finish off the video and i know i want an 808 here so i'm gonna drag this down duplicate this and F minor is sometimes I gotta play it first to remember perfect I'm gonna do another F here well if you get something like that just hit uh, what is it command U or shift command U and you can you know change the grid it says You'll get this option here, but there's another way to do it also, just by right clicking. Right now it's on 1 16th. We're going to change it to 1 8th. So, like so. And then to get the back and forth from the pen tool and the, the pointer, the mouse, you just hit B. And I messed this up. So let's move this. I think it goes here. Yeah, I want that right there. And then I want to do a similar thing with this and this, but let's add another note. Let's go. Maybe not this one. So we got, as far as the key of F minor, we got F, then we have this G, then we have G sharp, then we have A sharp. Then we're C, C sharp, D sharp, back to F. So let's put this on the five. The five of F is C, which we have here in the six. Actually, let's mess with the four. The four will be here. So a G sharp, but I'm going to come up higher here. That is not the four. It's That's the three. So this would be the four. I like that. Let's bring it down an octave just there. And now I have my 808 pattern and I can start adding other things to my beat. All right, so that is how you start a beat with a loop in Ableton. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.